Hello there and welcome to this game of Black Seas. So today we're back on the ocean waves and we're going to be playing um, the scenario five from the main rule book, uh, Catch the Prize. It's got two fleets today, we've got the Royal Navy and we've got a French fleet. Um, very straightforward. Um, the Royal Navy have got a prize ship here which is a fifth rate frigate, no guns. Um, basically we've got to try and get that off the eastern edge of the board over this side. And the French uh, fleet has got to try and either capture it, strike its colours, or prevent it from leaving. And it's going to uh, the game lasts five turns, or until one of those um, objectives are achieved. So for the uh, for the Royal Navy, we've got, as I said, the fifth rate frigate there. No guns on it, so just uh, it's just got some valuable goods on it or something. I don't know. It's got some gold or something. Um, and then we've got some. Um, this is a third rate frigate. This is the HMS Revenge. And then we've got two brigs. So an unnamed one there. And then we've got HMS Speedy down here. HMS Speedy's got a couple of special rules around um, boarding actions and stuff. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, all the British fleet, uh, the Royal Navy start at full sails. And the wind direction is blowing west to east. Um, and then the French fleet start in these, well, you can start it in, in the rule book. You can put them anywhere in their two zones. I've, put, I've split the fleet. So we've got two brigs down here and they start at battle sails. And then we've got a third rate and a brig over here. The third rate is the Argonaut. So, um, so yeah, so five turn game, Max. Just to quickly go over the, the ships themselves. So you've seen this before, you get these little damage cards. So as you can see, the uh, third rates are pretty, pretty good. You get um, uh, 74 ship points, the brigs get 20, and the fifth rate's got 36. And then we've got the French fleet here. Okay, so we'll head over to turn one and let's see how we get on. Let's roll for wind direction and see if it changes from that easterly blowing. An eight notes, so it's going to stay going west to east. So in terms of the weather gauge, so the, it's going to come across the ships this way. So it's obviously going to catch the uh, Royal Navy fleet first and then the, uh, the French fleet second. Okay, so let's crack on and get to the first activation. Okay, so the turn's well underway now and uh, the, the prize ship moved first. It's moved up on full sails to here, so three moves. I'm just trying to head off to the board. HMS Speedy then on full sails has uh, whizzed around here uh, on three moves and that is now ready for a broadside into that uh, brig there. So with all the modifiers, um, minus two for being at full sails and minus one for finally got a small ship. It's going to need twos or less on two dice um, to score. So no, no hits there for HMS Speedy. Okay, so we'll continue with the activations. Okay, just cutting in now at the end of the all the activations for the Royal Navy. So, um, as I say, Speedy had to go up there. This brig uh, just came through here and just started to turn this way. Again, you can see they're trying to maybe just block this potential French moves coming this way. And then HMS Revenge just came forward again on full sails. Um, could have shot, had a broadside, but with all the modifiers, um, it wouldn't have hit. So if you've not played Black Seas before, it's a base roll of five on a D10. And basically, um, you get modifiers for distance and size of target and all that sort of stuff. So um, with all the modifiers, it actually couldn't hit. So um, just sailing along there, just trying to protect um, the prize ship. So the next activation is going to be for the French, and it's going to be the brig down here. So we'll do that next. Right, so this brig has moved up here, on, went to full sails, it was, it was a battle sails, went to full sails, um, came up this side here, and has managed to get a broadside off across at HMS Revenge. So it's going to be two dice, two heavy cannon. Um, with the modifiers, it's minus two because it was it's, um, at full sails, and also minus, uh, minus one because of its uh, HMS uh, Revenge had moved more than ten. However, because it's a large target, it's plus one. So it's going to be minus two, so threes or less. No, five and four, so no damage there on the revenge. Okay, so over to the next activation. Okay, so this action is hotting up very quickly. So this brig move has went up to full sails um, because the wind direction is coming directly behind. Um, it's in the first stage of its move. So after end of, uh, basically in Black Seas, at the end of each move, so for full sails you get three moves. You can either turn or you can shoot. So at the end of that first movement, He's going to shoot back at that brig there. So again, with all the modifiers, though, it's going to be a one, basically need a one to hit because uh, moving at full sails minus two. This chap here moved, uh, HMS Speedy moved more than 10 inches in that round, so it's minus one, and it's a small target, so minus four. So 
Just needing ones. Let's see if we get on. Two heavy cannon. Nope. Didn't think that would happen. So um, we'll finish its move and we'll keep going. Okay, so that brig has now finished its move. It just, after firing here, just came round. Just angle it, just obviously trying to turn slightly towards the prize ship. Uh, the next to activate was the Argonaut, and again, moved up to full sails. Um, they only moved four inches at, uh, at a move, so um, slightly slower than the brigs. Um, but again, need to try and get round here to cut off this uh, the prize ship. But after the end of its first move, it's going to full broadside onto HMS Speedy. Um, so this could be bad news. So, but fortunately for Speedy, it was, um, it's going to be only ones again due to all the various modifiers. But um, the Argonaut was quite heavily armed. So we've got three heavy cannons, two light cannons, and also two carronades. And just, again, if you haven't played before, each one does different damage. So heavy cannons do two damage, light cannons do one damage, damage and carronades do three. But I'm going to need ones to hit. So let's see how we get on. And yes, okay, so we've got two ones there. So that means that's a heavy cannon, so that's two damage. A light cannon, so that's three damage. But also, because they're ones, I'm going to have to roll on the critical hit table. So I've rolled a d6, let's see what happens. That's a one. So that is a quarter deck hit. Okay, so basically, I, um, it just affects things like um, skills tests and stuff. So, so HM Speedy takes three damage and a quarter deck hit. Okay, so again, we've got two moves left for the uh, the Argonauts, so I'll finish that now. Okay, so a couple of things there. So the Argonauts finished its move there. Also, I forgot there was two ones I rolled, so I had to roll another on the critical damage. And it also, HP Speedy took a gun deck hit as well, so those guns are out of action on that side. And that finished that move there. Again, just coming around a bit. And then this brig activated and move around to here. So as you can see, that's the end of turn one. All the ships have activated. And what I like about Black Seas is how quickly things move on. As you can see, the ships have uh, really made some progress already. So we're going to head over to turn two. So let's start turn two. Let's roll for the wind direction. Again, it's currently blowing easterly. So let's see what happens. And two dice, eight. Okay, it stays blowing easterly. So, um, so in terms of the weather gauge, again, we're coming across this way. So we're going to see the prize ship and here, and then we'll come across to here. So again, it's going to be the Royal Navy kind of going first, then the French fleet following up. Okay, so let's get over to the first activation. Okay, so we're kind of early stages of turn two here. So again, the prize ship just came forward on three moves at full sails. So not far from the edge here. So the French, I'm hoping this game doesn't uh, end too quickly. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. So the Revenge was next to activate and has come up on battle sails. So just drop one level of sails, um, which you can do um, without any penalties. And again, open up a broadside onto this... Um, onto this French brig here. So with the range and modifiers, it's going to be threes or less to hit. And again, similar to the Argonaut, we've got three heavy cannon, two light and two carronades. So threes or less. Okay, so we've got uh, one hit there from the heavy cannon, so that's going to be two damage. And we've got one hit there from the light cannon. So not a huge amount of damage, just three damage are coming across onto that, uh, onto that little brig there. Okay, so we'll get on with the next activation. Right, so HMS Speedy was next to activate and continued uh, on full sails. It obviously had a quarter, get, quarter deck uh, hit, so I had to make a skills test. And because they're regular crew, that was a, a five or a six, and I rolled a six. So if I hadn't rolled that, they can only continue straight. Um, but I was able to turn, basically, which is good. Um, so I made two moves, and it stopped at the end of its second move here to do a broadside into this brig here. Uh, the, gun deck hit was, the gun deck hit was on the other side, so it could have made a double broadside, but unfortunately those guns are out of action. But this side's okay, so and with all the modifiers, we are at point blank range, it means we're hitting on threes or less. No, nothing. Okay, so maybe everybody's selling too fast at the moment. Okay, so over to the next, I'll, I'll finish the, it's got one more move to go, and then I'll finish over to the next activation. Okay, so this final Royal Navy brig here moved through. Now, because of the way, the way it was angled, it, it was slightly out of the wind, so it couldn't uh, maintain full sails. So it had to drop down to battle sails. So it's only two moves. So move once, and then the second move's ended here, but just in a nice, juicy broadside onto that brig there. Uh, because of battle sails, uh, the various modifiers, we're going to be hitting on three or less with uh, two dice. There we go. So it's two, so it's two damage onto that brig there. Okay, so the next activation is going to be for the French, so we'll come back for that. 
Okay, so the French, French brig that was here has moved up here. Again, slightly out the wind, so I had to drop down to battle sails. Um, was trying to cut them off, cut the uh, prize ship off, but couldn't quite get there. But is in range for a broadside, going to be hitting on fours due to the modifiers. But also, um, HMS Revenge is going to fire a fire as she bears. So basically, you can shoot back at your opponent in their turn. And the black smoke just indicates that um, it's fire as she bears. Um, so we'll do this one. You do this one first. So it's going to be two dice hitting on fours because of the modifiers. So it could do with a critical hit here to try and slow this ship down. No, not one, not one hit there from the uh, from that little brig. And then the revenge gets just one dice. It's one heavy cannon for its chaser cannon, which is they've got one chaser at the front and a light cannon at the back. Uh, and with the modifiers, it's going to be only a two or less. No, so no damage done there. Okay, so over to the next activation, which is going to be the argonaut. Okay, it's getting desperate for the French now. So the argonaut has managed to get to maintain full sails we're just in the wind still so it's come past the speedy now um i could have stopped to, to do that but i'll do it separately so that it has fired as she bears as he came past the speedy um, but i'll do that second so we're just going to do this broadside into the prize ship desperately trying to get some hits on here but because at full sails and these are at full sails <coughs> it is a minus uh, three to the roll so it's only with twos or less so we've got the full broadside so again blue is heavy Red is light and black is the carronade. Um, hit needing twos or less. Okay, so one carronade hit and that's it. Okay, just three damage onto the prize ship. That's not gonna be enough to do much, I think, at this stage. And then we've got um, the, it was ones to hit for the uh, fire of Chivers, so I'll do that. And yes, to get a one, so it's just one damage onto the speedy and then roll for a critical hit. Let's see what that does. Let's grab a dice. There we go. A three. So that is a rudder steering hit. Okay, so it's going to affect steering of the speedy. She's taking a bit of damage actually. So one point of damage and um, a rudder hit. Okay, so we've got uh, a couple of more activations for the French. Got this brig down here. And that brig there, I'll just measure which one's next and uh, come back for that. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting very messy in the this part of the, the, uh, the battle now. So this French brig here went down to battle sails and basically moved right up to the back of uh, the Argonaut, swung round and then came across the front of the, of the prize ship here. So kind of blocking its route. So this ship is going to have to try and manoeuvre to get round that, um, that uh, brig now. So... French may have done something here. Also got a broadside off. He's in point blank range. Um, so it's only going to be in a minus one uh, because of the fact that the price ship had sailed more than 10 inches in the last turn. So we're talking sixes, two dice, sixes or less. Again, could do with a one here to get a critical hit. Oh, nothing. That's a 10 and a seven. So despite all that maneuvering, no damage again. So the French gunnery not up to, not up to snuff for this game at this moment. Okay, so one last activation, this brig here. Can again, it, can it try and close this trap off here? Um, albeit, it's a bit of a mess up there. Okay, so let's come back for that. Okay, so the French may have closed the trap here. So this brig was um, able to maintain full sails, so three moves. So it whizzed all the way up to here. Finished its move there. Uh, so it's pretty much blocking the path now of that, uh, that prize ship. Um, and managed to get a broadside off as well. And there is... Um, you can shoot through the gap there, that's fine. So, uh, but with the modifiers, it's going to be hitting on twos or less. So we've got two shots, two heavy cannon. And I think again, so zero is a 10. So again, no hit, no damage on the prize ship. So again, French shooting, not, not great, but there you go. So that's the end of turn two. Um, as you can see, we've got a, quite a big melee going on here now. Um, I've got to sort all this out for the next turn. So let's see, let's go over to turn three and see what happens to the wind first. Okay, rolling for the win. Let's see if this can uh, have any bearing on this game. So again, two dice. 11, that is something. What is that? 11 is winds of change. There we go. So the winds have done, uh, might do something here. So the winds of change. So move the arrow on the wind rows one step anti-clockwise. So the wind is going to be coming up this way. So going basically into a northeasterly blow. So basically rather than coming straight across the table now, it's going to be coming that way. So that will impact the game, because obviously at the moment it was coming that way, 
and it's going to be coming kind of this direction here. So, yeah, interesting. Okay, so I'll do that, and we'll get over to the first activation. Okay, so the HMS Revenge was the first uh, ship to activate uh, with this new wind direction. So um, it was at battle sails, um, but it was within four inches of this um, French brig. So it had to make an avoiding action, otherwise it would have collided. Um, you basically have to make a skills, both uh, ships have to make a skills test and they did pass. So what happens is the Revenge just basically maneuvers just past the stern here. And lucky for them, they can now do a, a nice juicy broadside. Now you, you can get raking fire, which really does uh, do a lot of damage. If you cross the T, which was a naval expression for the time, where you basically go across either the stern or bow of the ship, and it kind of doubles or triples your, your damage basically. But um, not quite perpendicular, as it explains in the rules. Uh, it needs to be further around this way to get that, so. but. Are at point blank and it's going to be dangerous. Um, we're hitting on sixes, so sixes or less. Uh, and again, blues are the heavy cannon, uh, red light, and the black are the carronades. So sixes or less. I guess the carronades didn't do anything. We've got one damage there for the uh, two, so two that's four damage, and we've got a critical hit as well, plus another one there, so that's five damage and a critical hit, so let's see what that is. It's a two, so that is a gun deck hit as well on that brig. Okay, so I'll, I'll apply that damage and then we'll finish the uh, Revenge's move off and do the next activation. So the Revenge finished its move here, just to start to turn back, to, otherwise it was gonna go away from the action. Um, but in doing so, the French brig decided to give a bit of uh, pain back to the Revenge, so it's, it's unleashed a broadside with its two heavy cannon. Um, basically firing as she bears, which so basically as it's finished its movement, they can fire out of sequence, hence the black smoke. Um, it's gonna be hitting on sixes um, because of the modifiers, so that's two dice, six or less. Just the one, so that is two damage onto the revenge. So a little bit of revenge for the French. Okay, so over to the next activation. Okay, so the next ship to activate was the prize ship itself, and if it was just located here. So it's move would have took it into contact with that uh, brig, so again, they did a roll for collision and, and managed to avoid. So it turned here, and then basically used its second move at battle sails just to move past the stern of this other French brig here. So uh, some good maneuvering from the captain of that ship there, and that prize ship is almost home and dry. So um, not sure that's the best expression for a ship game, but there you go. Okay, so uh, over to the next activation. Okay, so the French tactic was finally revealed when this, uh, this brig here which was here next to the Revenge, tried to grapple and board the prize ship. And that was the tactic to try and swarm around it and get into a close range to grapple. You have to make a skills test, and unfortunately, uh, you have to, well, you have to be within three inches of the hull, which it was. Unfortunately, it failed its skills test. You needed a five or a six, um, but rolled a two. So ended up continuing on its journey on battle sails up here. So that's the end of that. Briggs go. So over to the next activation. Okay, so it was, about, it was bound to happen. So this brig here activated, it was over here, and it was heading for this uh, for the uh, Argonaut there. So again, both rolled a, uh, for their skills tests, but both rolled a two. So basically both ships failed their skills tests. So there was a collision. So the, uh, the little brig smashed into the side of the, the back of the Argonaut there, which took four damage. But unfortunately, the, uh, the brig took 13 damage. It's only got 20. So it's down to seven, now it's break point is seven, so one more damage point and it will start to, um, to see whether it strikes its colours, so it's severely damaged. Um, so not a good turn for the, the uh, Royal Navy there. So we're gonna head over quickly to the next activation. Right, so this brig here activated next. Now this brig was actually over here, um, but it's, it's, it, was gonna try, it was trying to get into a grappling range of the, uh, of the prize ship, but, um, Due to its first travel distance, it would have collided with the Revenge. So it had to make, make a, an evading action uh, to avoid that collision, uh, which was a same shame for the French. So, uh, so the Revenge was kind of in the way, really. So it ended up kind of around here, because it, it couldn't avoid that way, because it would have gone into the prize ship. So it had to evade this way around there. And then its second move, because it's at battle sails, was to come past the back of the Revenge on the stern. And it stopped um, kind of a couple of inches into its move and it's going to give it a broadside raking fire right down the back of the revenge there. Now it's, it's, this is triple damage. Um, it's, hitting on, it's going to be hitting on sixes or less. Now that sounds devastating, but to be fair, the revenge has got uh, 
72 hole points left, so um, I'm not sure it's going to be too bothered by this, but uh, let's see what the French can do. Can you give it a little bit of a bloody nose? So six is or less is, uh, is six damage each. There it is. So that is 12 damage onto the, uh, the revenge, so a bloody nose indeed. Okay, so over to the next activation. Okay, so that um, French brig just finished its movement there after it came across and raked the back of the Revenge. And then the next ship activated was the brig here. The base was around here and it's, it was going to collide with its uh, sister ship here. So again, they both made their collision rolls and made them. So it, it moved to this side, turned and then moved its final movement of battle sails up to there. And has now got a broadside against that British brig there. So it's, it's at uh, point blank range. So finally got a small ship. So again, it's going to be sixes or less. Oops. So that was a four. So that's two hits. That was a four. No, oh, that's gone. Um, so that is uh, four damage onto that brig there. Okay. Now over to the next activation, which I think is going to be the Argonaut. And this is, I think, the French's biggest chance to try and stop this ship because now these brigs have moved out of the way, although they didn't manage to board them themselves. This is open wide now for the French to try and snap, uh, snap hold of this uh, ship. So let's see how we get on with that. Actually, before I do that, I've just realised this ship here, this British brig, it was actually at only at seven ship points. This is the one that collided with the Argonaut. So that broadside has brought it below its uh, break value. So as the rules say, you have to immediately take a, a break, a, a basically a test to see if it strikes its colours. So it's a skills test. If this fails, it is a five or a six because it's a regular crew. It will be striking its colours. Let's see how we get on. Five or six required. No, so that ship will strike its colours. So basically what that means, the next time it activates, it will move to a stop and anchor and lower its flag. That's the first, a bit of a victory for the French there for that uh, takes one of the brigs out of the action. To be fair, it was moving away from the, uh, the battle anyway, but uh, anyway. Okay, so let's do the activation for the Argonaut. Okay, so the Argonaut has made its first move up to here and it's released, uh, unleashed a broadside at the prize ship. Now, where it's positioned, it hasn't quite, uh, can, it can't quite see half the vessel. The way you measure that is the broadside is in kind of line with the hull and it's just under half of that hull it's hitting. So, but because it's in close range, it's going to be hitting on fives or less. So we've got the full broadside again. So we've got the heavy, the lights and the carronade. Okay, so that's one heavy hit, two heavy hits, and uh, a critical hit. One of the carronades is hit, and one of the light cannons. So in terms of total damage, we've got two, four, seven, eight damage, and a critical hit. So let's see what the critical hit does. Six. I think it's going to be on fire. It is. There's a fire on board. Yes, it's a fire. So that's six damage, and the, and the boat and the uh, the prize ship catches fire. Right, so I'll just finish the, uh, the activation for the Argonaut and come back. Well, that was a real success for the French. Um, so the Argonaut, after that uh, devastating broadside that caused the fire on the prize ship, also managed to grapple and, and uh, board the prize ship at the end of its second move. Basically, you can make a boarding action at the end of your final move. Uh, you have to make a skills test. It rolled that five, rolled a five, it needed a five or a six. So they managed to grapple and board the prize ship. So things are looking good for the French here. Um, this could be really critical now. So um, boarding actions are quite deadly. So basically the, you divide the remaining ship points by 10. So the French, the Argonaut had 70. So it's got seven boarding action dice. So basically seven D10s. And because they're a regular crew, they need five or less, but on the first turn they get plus one. I know there's a lot of rules there, but effectively they've got seven dice and they need to roll sixes or less. For every successful roll, they get two damage points onto the uh, prize ship, and ones is any ones is four damage. The prize ship has only got two attack dice back because it's only got 21 hull points left. Right, that's a lot of words. Let's get on with it. So sixes or less on seven dice. Let's see what happens. So that is two four six eight ten ten damage to the uh the uh prize ship and fives or less for the royal navy here we go for the royal navy crew uh nothing so that's ten damage so the french won that combat um so 
as you can see, this is the, oh, the ship points left, so it's at 21, so it's going to bring it down to 11. So it's going to be below its break point, so it, I think it immediately surrenders. Let me just double check the rules on that one. Uh, I'm not sure the rule book. Let's have a look what it says. It says, yeah, so uh, if the ship points go below its break value, it automatically surrenders without a skill test. So the French have won the game. They, the One of the rules conditions was if, if the uh, prize ship surrenders, which it has. So the French have managed to capture the prize, uh, kill most of the crew. Although it's on fire, they're going to quick, they're gonna have to quickly grab all the loot that might be on there that they're after and transfer it across to their own ship. But that is a French victory. So I'll come back for a quick wrap up. Right, well, I really enjoyed that. That was a cracking game. Uh, only three turns and a lot happens. If you remember, they all started over here. And we ended up over here. So three. So Black Seas, you get a lot of movement. A lot happens quite quickly. It's a really fast, fun game. There are a lot more additional rules, advanced rules that you can apply to the games, particularly about how the wind, uh, wind directions and other things. But uh, you can repair damaged ships. I mean, I'm playing the very basic rules with a few of the advanced rules just sprinkled in. Um, but there's a lot more you can do with this game. It can be as, as complex or as easy as you like. And that's what I like about it. It's a really fun game to get, get involved with. That was a really good scenario. I did think the price ship was going to make it off the board at one point. I thought once these brigs had all come past, I thought it had enough room to get through. But to be fair, once they had, it just opened up that little gap here for the Argonaut to come through. Give it a broadside. To be fair, it was a bit lucky because it rolled that five. And to be fair, if it hadn't rolled that five... Um, that ship would have been off. So it was a little bit lucky. Um, it's quite a low percentage chance to have done that, but there you go. Um, that's uh, a dice game for you. So, uh, But as you can see, you don't actually dish out a lot of damage on these ships. I mean, to be fair, in the actual rule book, um, I mean, I'm using two third rate ships, which are quite uh, tough. Um, yeah, they're quite they're large ships. Uh, the rule book, it's just got frigates, which are the fifth raters. So, you know, but I thought a bit more fun because I've painted these blooming things up, so you might as well play with them. Um, but they dish out a lot of damage, but they're quite hard to to obviously uh, sink or, or or strike their colours. But the, the brigs are great. The brigs just bomb around, uh, shooting off uh, broadsides. Anyway, so yeah, good game. Really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did as well. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more Black Seas over the next few months. Um, try and get another couple of ships painted up, ready to go. But I hope you enjoyed that. Leave, you, leave any likes, comments, usual stuff down below, please, guys. Always appreciate the, uh, the support that the channel gets. Uh, it really does make a lot of difference when making these battle reports. Uh, so appreciate this walk. Uh, keep yourselves all well and happy, and I'll catch you all very, very soon.